What does a shark car have to do with Jesus? Find out in today's video blog on July 28th, 2016. Hi, this is Pastor Danish House. I'm the senior pastor of New Beginnings Church in Poughkeepsie, New York, and welcome to our video blog. Every Sunday here at New Beginnings Church, we have a time called The Box. This is a time for children to put uh, an, a secret item in a treasure chest that we have, and uh, I have to look in the treasure chest, see what the secret item is, and talk about what that item has to do with Jesus. Well, this past Sunday, uh, The Box accidentally didn't get brought into church, um, and the child who had put an item into the box was disappointed that their item couldn't be talked about. So I thought I'd just record a quick video about that. The item that Emily put in the box this week, which didn't make it to service, was a shark car. I did some searching on the internet, and I think that this is the shark car that she may have put in there. It's from Hot Wheels. Uh, it's a tiny little matchbox-sized car that is part shark and part car. Well, what does a shark car have to do with Jesus? Well, on the one hand, Jesus made sharks, right? So Jesus, uh, God is, is the creator of all things. God created sharks and, and Jesus is God. We could go that way. Um, Jesus didn't create cars. People did. Uh, but Jesus created the people who made the cars. Well, you could go that direction as well. Um, certainly, some uh, the shark car looks kind of vicious, and it's got a scary aspect to it. Maybe we could talk about how Jesus takes away our fears. But what I was thinking was this. Um, this shark car, I took a look at it, and if you, if you look at it carefully, uh, if, if this was an actual vehicle, it would be kind of inconvenient to use. Uh, it's not exactly looks like a shark. It's got wheels. Sharks don't have wheels. And it doesn't exactly look like a car. It, it, it looks like a tough car to drive if in any event. Um, the shark car, it's not really a shark, and it's not really a car. It's sort of a weird hybrid between the two. It made me think about Jesus' words that no man can serve two masters. Either he'll hate the one and love the other, or he'll love the one and hate the other, Jesus said. But you can't serve two masters. And specifically, Jesus said, you can't serve God and money. You can't serve God and money. Well, how do you serve money? You serve money by making money the most important thing in your life. You serve money by trusting money to be there to, to help you out in your time of need. You serve money by making the accumulation of money, the getting of money, uh, the, the central preoccupation of your life. Jesus said you can't serve God and money. How do you serve God? Well, you serve God by making God the central preoccupation of your life. You serve God by seeking to accumulate as much of God as you can, by learning as much as you can about God. How do you serve God? Well, you serve God by doing the things that God would have you to do. But Jesus said you can't serve both God and money, just like you can't really be both shark and car. you got to be one or the other. Otherwise, what you wind up with is sort of a monstrosity. I have to admit that I find this shark car pretty darn cool. But when I looked at it and I saw that it wasn't fully shark and it wasn't fully car, that's the verse that came to my mind. Nobody can serve two masters. You can't be a Christian and someone who serves money at the same time. What would that be called? A Christ money? A money in... I don't know, but either way, it's not a possibility. Hey, that's the box for today. That's what I would have said maybe on Sunday if the shark car had been in the box. This is for you, Emily. God bless you. And for the rest of you also, God bless you and go in peace.